today I want to show you how you can use the edit page 3D for your projects. First of all you need a model and to get a model just click this button and it will lead you to Sketchfab and then let's type in something like skull for example then click on the model that you want to download. Sometimes it doesn't work then just open link a new tab and then just click download 3D model and make sure that you download it in USDZ that is really important otherwise it won't work and then let's click download. When that's downloaded go back to DaVinci Resolve and click browse your model and open. Now you can see we have the 3D model. So yeah, first of all you have a resize box. If it doesn't work just try unchecking or checking this box position. So we have X, Y and Z and X is just sideways so like this and Y is upwards or downwards and then Z is closer to us or further away. And the focal length, if you bring it down, you will have more of this, this fish eye feeling. And if you bring it further away, it will be more zoomed in. Then the lights, I am giving you a three point light setup. So you have a main light that's coming from, from this direction kind of. And then you have a fill light, it's coming from here. Um, so the job of the main light is basically to illuminate the object. And then the fill light is kind of filling in these dark shadows, so it's not as dark. And then the rim light is giving it this little shine here. And you can obviously change uh, the rotation of the lights however you like. But I like to keep it simple for myself and just play with different exposures. And this way you can already, by bringing one light up and one light down, you can already really change how it looks so you don't need to do that much thinking with these sliders and yeah you can also change the color I really like to go for a split tone so have like two opposite colors from two different directions and yeah I think that always looks really nice there's also a dome light so let me actually set this back there's also a dome light which is like a sphere around the entire um, object so let me actually enable that and then you can click this button again to download a dome image so for example you can click here let's just download the sky right here for me 1k is enough but you can also select 4k if you want to and then just click download and click browse and then select. And now if you click show dome in view, you can see exactly what it's doing. It's just putting this image as like an environment light. And you can dial in the exposure if it's a bit too strong. And you can also tint it however you like. And yeah, this way you can get some more realistic lighting if you want to. Let's get to the materials tab. So the material, it will completely replace the original textures and put a new custom material on it. So if you click here, now it's completely replaced. And now you can um, change, for example, the color, this golden color, for example. And you have some different material settings. So we have a metallic slider. So if you bring that down, it will be more like a non-metallic objects. So because for realistic um, shading, we differentiate between metallic and non-metallic. They behave differently. Usually it's either metallic or non-metallic. So if you want this, for example, to be a chrome skull, then you would put that at one. If you want to be at like a normal skull that is made out of bone, you would put it to zero. And then we have the roughness which is kind of how glossy or how polished it is. And you can see that really well if I bring it, uh, make it metallic again. So if I bring that down, you can see it becomes really reflected, uh, reflective. And now you can see if you change the rotation of the dome light, it affects the reflection of the skull. And you can also bring that down, of course, a bit. And you can also choose a material preset so right now it's just in color. You can also do texture and then you can select, for example, let's just use this random image for now. Now you can see that image is on the skull. You can also select Material X and for that you need to get a Material X file. If you click this link, it will get you, uh, get you to the AMD Material X library and here you can browse different materials. So let's say maybe I want, I like this copper old material. I just need to select the resolution that I want. For this, I think 1K will be enough. And then you need to unzip it and then um, just go back to DaVinci and click browse, find the folder 
and then select this MTLX material and don't delete the textures folder. Uh, once you click that, you can see it now has this material, but let's bring up the exposure of the dome light again. And maybe let's also tint it a bit. And yeah, now you can see we have this copper material. Then the last tab is the render tab. And here you can enable or disable shadows, but I would honestly leave them enabled. And you can also choose a different resolution, or if it's animated, you can also check motion blur. If you want to animate it, I would go into fusion, um, because you can't use spline for these parameters. Then you can just really easily make your animation like that. Or if you want to use this in a 3D scene, if you want to see it uh, better in Fusion, you can also just double click this and then open the group. And if you leave it open, but don't change uh, the arrangement of the nodes, so you just change the settings, then you can still use this in the edit page. Um, so you can edit it in Fusion and the edit page. But if you, for example, delete these nodes right here, then they won't work in the edit page. So if you want to use it in the edit page and the Fusion page, just make sure that you don't delete any of these nodes. Or let's say you are, and yeah, that's basically it.